Hi, it's Paul from HowToNetwork.com. I've just put the finishing touches to uh, one of our courses, the Microsoft MTA Server Essentials course. And uh, we did that after the Operating Systems Essentials, which is Windows 10. And it got me thinking about just how great the MTA exams are. Uh, I'm going to cover this in the, in the next few minutes. But as I was writing down reasons why it's a really good exam for you to consider, I actually came up with 10 reasons. So uh, I just wanted to share these with you because I encourage you to seriously consider taking them. And not many people have heard of them, in fact, but they're really good. So um, without further ado, what is the MTA? It actually stands for the Microsoft Technology Associate. And what they're designed is is to give you a foundation knowledge in a whole bunch of uh, subjects, which I'll come to in a bit. And you can choose anything you wish uh, to study. I've put a list of just some of them uh, at the bottom here. I think there's maybe 30 or so exams in every kind of IT field you could think of, including uh, coding, Windows 10, SQL, databases, cloud, security, HTML, and uh, the list goes on. And uh, as I said, it's a foundational knowledge. So a complete beginner who wants to learn about the subject with a view just to learn about it or to uh, work out if you want to do a career in that can actually choose this. And um, it's a pretty easy way to get started. One of the great things is you don't need to have any previous knowledge. If you look at any exam out there, even the uh, beginners exams or so-called beginners exams, CompTIA A+, and Network Plus, Cisco CCNA, they all say you need to have been doing the job for between six to 18 months, which many people just don't have that experience. So you're kind of stuck, really. You can't actually get started with your career. So reason one, and these are in no particular order as to best or worst, you will get a Microsoft certification. And this is obviously an internationally recognized brand. And uh, you'll get a logo that you can use when you pass your certification. I've put an example here on the right. This is for the database course. And um, you can also get picked up. I'll cover this in a moment. You can actually add the keywords to your certification on um, any uh, resumes or you can start doing job searches for these things. So if you've got a website for you, which I recommend you do, even if you're just looking for jobs, you can still have a website so people can find out about you and download your resume. And obviously, as I said, the logo you can use. Cost effective is probably the cheapest IT exam you can take. Um, you do have to go to an exam testing center and you can check out the Microsoft website for more information. You book the exams via CertiPort, but uh, this is just really um, great value to take and most people can afford this type of exam. Uh, no renewal fees, which I'll come to in a bit. Normally you have to keep um, repaying for the exam. To get studying for the exam, you normally um, you normally need to watch some videos unless you just want to get the syllabus and do all your own research, which is a bit hard to do. But you can normally use evaluation ver versions, for example, uh, Server 2016. You can download a trial version, put it in a virtual machine on your PC or whatever your device you're using, and you can uh, explore all the features. Uh, study guides, I haven't seen many around for the MTA. There's a lot of crossover with other exams, which I'll talk uh, about in a moment. And um, uh, obviously there's videos, is probably the, the cheapest way to do it. You can study for uh, the exams in a few days, not all of them. For example, if you're new to databases, it might take a, a, more than a, a few days. It might take a couple of weeks or so. But the easy ones, like the probably the easiest one is the operating systems fundamentals, which is a beginner's guide to Windows 10. Quite an easy overview. Our course is actually three hours. On top of that, we recommend you do another seven hours in your own time, playing with the software, configuring stuff, um, and changing all of the various um, items that are listed in the syllabus, which you can download. Yeah, so try all the features out. Uh, you build a foundation, and this is really important. Too many people are trying to specialize before they they build a solid foundation. If you're looking for the MCSA or MCSE in server, operating systems, cloud, or whatever, you should lay the foundation first. 
And the good thing is, rather than spending possibly thousands of dollars and uh, many months of hard work, you'll know within a few hours of study if this is something that you actually enjoy. Uh, so you're going to save a lot of time and uh, money and effort. I mentioned or alluded to this earlier, you'll get found on uh, searches for jobs. So this is obviously all done by um, scraping databases. And what happens is when somebody is looking to hire, if you've uploaded your resume to a particular website or contacted recruitment agents, that will be stored and yours will pop up for these keywords. For example, uh, Microsoft Server 2016. And obviously, if you've got the qualification, that would come up. So you don't have to worry at that stage whether or not you've got the MCSE or MCSA if um, if they're doing a search under this particular term. Another string to your bow, for example, if you're a Cisco expert, you could still just spend a few hours or a week learning about the server or operating system essentials, and it's another skill that you can promote. Foot in the door, uh, especially if you're looking to either change your particular specialization or trying to get into IT, this is how you could actually um, get your first chance, especially looking for help desk roles, uh, junior network admin roles, a lot of things that people aren't certified for. They're just saying they can do the job, but they have no qualification. Bear in mind, most employers and probably recruitment agents don't actually know how much work you would have to put in for the different certifications. So if you turn around and say you were certified MTA, MTA in um, Microsoft Server, they probably wouldn't know that this is just a foundation uh, qualification. Get an easy win. This is really important. So perfect if you're a busy person, and we all are, uh, if you're looking to uh, get some motivation, well, we all need a bit of a boost, a shot of the arm to, to give us a bit of get up and go. If you want to get into the habit of studying without taking on something that's difficult, for example, a CCNA is at least two months really hard work. And if you want a morale boost, and again, we all need to get a morale boost and then we can lose, we can lose that, especially if we try and choose an exam that's really hard. This is uh, brilliant. MTA certifications never expire. I checked on the Microsoft website. Uh, all the other certifications for all the other vendors expire. And normally after three years, you have to learn all of the new stuff. For example, the CCNA syllabus completely changes every three years. And a lot of what you've learned is out of date and you've got to spend another $300. You only need to certify once in the MTA certifications and you keep them for life. All right, uh, the last reason is uh, you're halfway towards other certifications. So it's not as if you have to then uh, completely learn something new. If, for example, you took the MTA in security, you are around 80% of uh, the syllabus towards the CompTIA Security Plus. CompTIA certifications are a requirement for any uh, Department of Defense roles in America, for example, and loads of large organizations such as um, Com such as Compaq, Hewlett Packard, IBM require them also, and they recognize them. So you basically, you're doing two exams for not much extra work at all. A Windows operating system is covered in the A plus exam. Server operating system is covered in the Network Plus. And also uh, there's a Network Essentials I just found, uh, which uh, is an MTA qualification. And I recommend you do that in conjunction with your Network Plus. So there's loads of crossover. So you're getting a fantastic value for your time and value for your money when you um, you can study two exams for the, the same um, same amount of time. If you want to go on and uh, certify in your MCSA or uh, server, I put down um, the operating systems, but there's obviously cloud, data exams, coding exams for Microsoft. You've got a big chunk already out of the way. So here's a summary, basically. You're hitting three really important certification hotspots at the same time. Easy to take, cheap to uh, pay for, and um, valuable for your career. And the, the MTA, I don't know of any other certification that hits all three. At best you'll get two. Normally you just get one out of the three. Go to, um, just do a Google search for Microsoft MTA and you'll find their site. You can look at their certifications 
and um, get more information about there's an FAQ at the bottom of this particular page if you want more information about how to study if you come over to howtonetwork.com you can click on courses and then Microsoft and we've got a bunch of MTA uh, courses already I actually need to update this because many of our other exams actually cross over for example our uh, cloud essentials qualifies you for the MTA to take the cloud, MTA cloud exam so at the moment we've got the database operating systems we just up, um, updated to Windows 10 the server admin fundamentals which is we just updated this week to 2016 server and um, security fundamentals there's others on there as well but I didn't actually put the name on for, for example I said cloud and uh, network foundations so please come and have a look um, there's an offer for anyone who watches our YouTube videos after you've had a look at the site you've got to use this special URL um, howtonetwork.com forward slash YouTube that gets you 30 days access to the website trial for a uh, dollar and then it uh, converts to $20 a month if you want to stay you get all of our courses just tell us on your join page which one you want to start with loads of practice exams live Cisco racks that are on 24-7 expert advice from myself and other people working in the IT arena and fellow students and uh, loads of career training which um, is worth the membership in itself so uh, thanks for listening again I'll see you on the next video all the best